So hi me again, and let's finish this sort. I think I will do just uh, the sort here in this part, and the last part I will do the material surrendering. So before we created the rough shape of the sort, which is uh, the shape is already uh, looking similar to the Schmita here. Uh, so now let's uh, finish that. Let's go to front and we will finish the blade and have to go more up and finish all details here. So uh, right now, uh, if we will turn off subdivision, now the tip, uh, I mean this edge here is smoothing too much and we would like to make it a little bit more sharp. So what to do in this case is very easy, you just chamfer this. So I will loop this and make a small chamfer here. Okay, let's say like this. And now, uh, if I turn subdivision, it's not go so bad away like before. Now I will just show now. So you can see it prevent uh, the smoothing. Okay, now again chamfer, and it's looking a little bit more sharp now. Now uh, the sharpness will also fix a little bit later, but so far just to show. Uh, how it's a little bit working. It was enough, I think. So I will chamfer this edge here. Now I could also chamfer these ones, but uh, I will not so far. You can move uh, manually some vertex if you want, uh, just to make or just to fit a little bit more the shape. It's up to you. No, actually, we can a few of them. And also this put a little bit away because anyway we know that by smoothing the it will go more inside. So we'll just uh, make it a little bit wider, and we'll see the result uh, in a while. Now we can everything here. Okay. Uh, so uh, to finish the sword, I mean the blade, uh, I will first move this back. And try to make from this line a shape by copying uh, the shape of, of the sword. So I think I will just move some vertex back and it will be fine. And you will understand in a minute why I'm doing that. Now, of course, uh, this is the tutorial to learn not to repeat uh, everything what I do. And anyway, I'm not doing here uh, all details and stuff like that because. Uh, if you have already a uh, rough shape of the sword, I mean, I did details here, but anyway, you can do them more. So, if you have a rough shape of the sword, it's uh, more easier to do the details. So, I will keep the details on you more or less. And you can experiment with uh, whatever you want. So, I'm trying still to create here a smooth shape. I'm sure my, my will not be absolutely smooth, but yours can be. Now, uh, I will draw uh, drag a selection because uh, I want to select also the edge which is here on the back side. So I loop it. Now, I will deselect uh, maybe just this here, and also I will deselect this. Now, let's zoom on this. And I will chamfer this. Chamfer this, yeah, I can go with the value like this, this is fine. Yeah, this is enough. Now, uh, select again the edge, bring it. Now it should select the, just the edges uh, on our new shape. I will again draw a uh, drag selection here. And ring it again to select also the edges from the other side. Control poly. Now let's go to perspective. And we will do a nice small bevel here. All ticks to see it better. Now we don't want to make it big, uh, really small. Oops. No, I think this is too much. Now let's go to a value near zero. Let's go back with this. Okay, this should be fine. Yeah, 
Yeah, it looks fine. Oh, I don't know if it's not so too big, but we'll see. No, I think it's fine. So we'll, uh, we'll just doing uh, this detail here. What is here? So very quick and very fast, nothing hard to do. So first detail on the blade already. Uh, oops, fourth see the edges. Now the next thing we have to chamfer uh, the edges of the blade, or it will smooth too much. So again, uh, I will select this edge here and the opposite. Loop it. It should go straight down. And now from the front view, <coughs> I will deselect everything which I don't want to chamfer. So I think it's. Uh, this so uh, actually I just want to uh, chamfer the edges on the blade. I uh, think we can keep this one here, or we can select also this one. Yeah, select also this one to the selection, and again uh, we're going to do a chamfer. Uh, we don't need a big chamfer. We actually need just a small one. So I will do a tiny small one chamfer here. Now it should make uh, looks the sword more sharp. Now uh, if uh, when I'm in this view, we select this edge, press that to zoom, and loop the edge all around. And let's do here a chamfer. Oops, too much. Smaller, of course. I don't know, probably like this. Yeah, this is fine. I'll select just this one, uh, loop it, and extrude. And we will extrude it back just a little bit. Something like this. And of course, the extrude should be much smaller. Yep. Okay, this is. No, this is fine. Yeah, something like this. Just a really uh, tiny little bit. Uh, if we'll make a look that the sword is going from the handle, or uh, this is just connected to it. Now let's go to the handle. Uh, first of all, I need to chamfer a lot of edges here. So I'm going to select this one and this one, and loop them. Also on this side. And this and this, and also I will loop this one here. Now, the same from the other side. Now, the chamfer is very important. Now, if you use subdivision or not, you should always chamfer everything. Every hard edge should be chamfered, nothing should be hard. Because when not, you will have problems with the rendering and a lot of stuff more. So. Uh, let's chamfer this. Now we can go with a bigger chamfer like this, I think. There, it's fine. Now uh, I will chamfer also this edge here. Oh, wait. Oh, it's fine. The chamfer was fine. So. No, I need this. This edge chamfer. No, actually not. I'm a little bit lost now. Wait, I was chamfering this. Uh, yeah, this on the side. Now let's find the value. Probably like this should be fine. Okay, now the same from the other side. We'll do a nice chamfer here too. And after go to the next part. Now the same chamfer like before. Now to make the handle a little bit more interesting. Let's look here. OK. 
Okay. Okay. Anyway, this is because I wasn't transferring the one edge there on both sides. It's fine for me. Because I want it to. Okay, uh, I will select every second of these here, loop it. I will do the same here, so every second I will just select, loop, and I will do an extrude. can do it <coughs> a little bit bigger, or something like this, and this will do uh, to us again an uh, interesting detail on the shape of the sword. I don't think it should have any like purpose there, but it's looking interesting. It's not so like uh, just a straight shape, and you see it. This is going inside. It's what we wanted to do there. So I'm just trying to do here more details like on the sort before. Now the best uh, it's have uh, have to have a, a reference, a very nice one. On which you can make the details uh, like they should be, but because uh, on our reference is actually nothing to see. Which I have, uh, we just have to do so what will came in my head. So I will again extrude this edge and do a chamfer. Now something similar I will do here. I will do also a small chamfer. Actually, maybe an extrude. Yeah, this this should be fine. Uh, let's see. Yep, something like this. Now the handle, the handle looks uh, just smooth here. Uh, I don't see there are any details. So if there should be any details, it's hard to see now. If there should be something or not, so I will even don't do here anything. Probably we could uh, just try to make this more smooth already. So I will do a chamfer here. It's too big one, and the same I will do here. Just a nice chamfer, the shape. Okay. And now for the top, uh, we could do this uh, very quickly from a cylinder, but I decided to do here something else. We'll do here a geosphere. Uh, put hard work a bit here, and let's try to make it. I don't know. Let's try to make it big, like on the picture there. Okay, so probably this size. Now let's go with. Maybe eight is too much. Let's go with I don't know six. Six maybe. Yeah, this is better. We'll go with six segments here. Now let's go to left. We'll make a little scale on this. But I want to put it like in this shape here. So let's go, uh, let's go to front. Oops. Yep, here. So it should be like in the middle, something like this. Now to make it really looking more interesting, this back top, uh, I will convert this to poly. Control A on all polygons, and we need to inset this, and we need to inset this by polygon, and just a little bit, just one step forward. And also, we need to extrude this. Now, here will be a little problem because the default value for extrude is very high. So, let's try to go to zero. We need to go by log normal. Or by poly. Actually, here should be the same. And we should find our value for this. Maybe one more. Okay, let's see. Now, these are like two step. Will give us a nice detail here. Like it's very detailed. 
don't mean anything, but it's like it's nice. So this will be on the top of the sword. So it will be looking more detailed than the sword before. And now uh, <coughs> the sword is from my side is finished. As you can see, uh, oops, no, this one. It's trying to match uh, the reference which we have. We have a blade here which looks sharp and all the details which we saw here on the picture. And I'm sure you can do more details very easily by yourself. The rest by us will do the reference. So at the end I think we can do a uh, uh, clay render. So I will uh, unfreeze all and hide this selection here. Now we have here three uh, swords. So we are in perspective and we will draw a plane here. Uh, we will do it really big, like two thousands on two thousands. It, it's just a place on which uh, our models will be staying. So this is the only one purpose for that. Uh, let's rotate them by 90 degrees. Uh, this I will group for a while. I don't want to attach uh, that together because uh, I don't want to put a subdivision on the geosphere which we have there. So now, uh, where is our plane? It's here. Yeah, of course, you can see it. So from the perspective view, I think we can manage. Okay, oh, let's see how this better. So we'll put them down. They will be anyway floating a little bit above the plane, but... Oops. Yeah, I was we're missing here something, but we'll try this. So they will be floating a little bit, but it's fine. Uh, just don't want anything like precise now. Just uh, want to make a quick render of this. So I'll put these two swords like this. Uh, I will affect the pilot on this one. I will put it back. So the center of the object will be at the back of that. This allows me now uh, to rotate the object around his axis from this here. So I will just move the tip up, nothing else. And I will leave the schmitter like this. And I will show the render is this view. Now uh, let's select the sphere and put here. Uh, like this. Uh, this is fine. <coughs> so like this I want to render my model. Now I will go to render setup and if I don't have I will choose mental ray which I have. I will choose some resolution. I will go higher like this. I want a wide screen resolution. I will lock the image aspect. Now uh, Let's click here, show safe frame. Uh, this will show us uh, what we're going to render and what we will see. So we can move this a little bit. Okay. Now for the materials, they are really easy. I will just use almost a white for the background here and not so white, uh, but near to the white for the rest. I will select everything here and apply the second material to that. Okay, uh, I will ungroup this and also uh, I will turn on subdivision. You can turn it on right now. And you will see also the different uh, looks of the swords uh, which we done with different methods like where we used a big chamfer, where a small and stuff like that. So, you should remember, uh, like I said before, this is not about 
teach you how to do how better how to do your homework is just to show you how to do it so back to Mendes setup and okay with this we can go a little bit higher with the samples and we'll just go with 200 final data and it should be fine so hit render and in a while uh, actually very quickly our render will be done now on the clay render you usually can't see all the details and you can hear you can see the noise but it depends uh, about uh, how many uh, final getter points you've started and how many samples so you can now increase uh, this to 300 and also uh, you can go from 16 to 64 it's really high for a clay render but I think for us will be now fine we can also check the skylight to create it. No, it's just one. Okay. So we can again uh, try to render. And we will see. Now, now the render should be better quality. And it should show us a little bit more from our model. Yeah, we'll also change the angle a little bit. Point from it from. Okay, like this. Now, I'll just check the. It's fine, and this is fine too. Okay. Everything is off. Okay, it should be actually. Not so bright, I'm not sure why it is, but it doesn't matter. Mm, yeah, this is a little bit better. Okay, so we created our source here. Now uh, I'm just waiting for the render, uh, which you don't have to see actually right now. So, in the last part, I will do some materials for this, which will make the source uh, look, of course, better because without materials, there are like just some crazy shapes or how to tell. So uh, in the last part we will do lightning and materials for that and we will render a scene. Uh, actually I think I will use this position of the objects and do it with this. We will use photometric light so and we'll be done. So I hope you enjoy that, uh, enjoy that this tutorial sorry. Uh, of course, this was a really easy sort to do. I will do also some a few more hard, like uh, there will be more a lot of more details and stuff like that. So I hope you will. I uh, hope you liked it so far and see you in the last part. So bye bye.